Hello all and welcome back to Game Barnes Plays Gran Turismo Sport and I'm still joined with Cohen. Hello. How's, Hello. How's well, good. How is everyone? It's indeed. a good day. It is a very good day. It's five yes. o'clock in the morning apparently uh, on a sunny day in Japan and we are at the Suzuka Circuit. Really? So without further ado, we are... Like it, it looks very much more close to sort of 10 in the evening and grey and very very boring <laughs> in the uk but yeah, apparently uh, not if you go by, just be uh, me go by this yeah we go by the uh what's on the screen that people see currently so i am out in the out of the pits now cohen if you want to join oh well, we are going to be starting good. our our racing apparently well we gotta try and qualify somehow there we are so yes, hopefully this time I will do this correctly and we will have more than one view, but we shall see. Suzuka Circuit's not one I'm very familiar with either, so this will be fun for me. And no Although doubt... we did race on here. Me. We did race on here against each other. Yeah. Again. That's my only other race I've done on this track. I may have completed the, um, the experience for this track, but that's in a completely different type of car. So I don't feel that that's the same. Definitely, each track is different depending on the car you're given. Oh, that was definitely, definitely grass just then. Oh God, why was then? No, uh, why was there a corner so sharp? Oh, at least I don't need to want to hit that so sharp. <laughs> right, yep. there we are. You did the same. So currently, the qualifying yep. is just going to be from my perspective for the moment, and then the real race is going to be from both perspectives as long as I do the uh, the replay option properly because Cohen showed me how to do it. I so we shall something. see. Yeah, Cohen knew it something. It made a change. We've got that documented now, Cohen, as well. If ever you need to bring up an argument, it's documented on this video at this timestamp. You knew something. Yeah. One in uh, a row. It's a new record for me. <laughs> so the uh, the official Suzuka circuit, as I currently see it whilst looking at my Excel spreadsheet whilst trying to race, you know, two things at once, very dangerous in a car that's going over 70 miles an hour, we are doing 17 laps currently. Well, that, that's what the plan is once we've done our qualifying. We'll be doing 17 laps, uh, of which we need, want to try and get as close as we can to the leading uh, man. Oh, that's definitely definitely gravel. The leading man who currently owns the title for the fastest lap. Oh, you went through me. Uh, which is going to be Mr. Kimi Raikkonen, who holds the track record of... Uh, sorry, 1.31 seconds. So we need to get as close as we can to that. My last lap, apparently, was 7 minutes and 14 seconds. So I definitely don't think yeah, I'm doing it on that one. seems to be something <laughs> slightly wrong with that, but... <laughs> I think that's oh, just because I started... Oh, oh I'm gone again. No. I'm not paying attention, but I can't blame Anna Kendrick this time. That's just me You're not being able to concentrate. Now. I am thinking about it now. <laughs> you think about it. Oh, I've gone again. Wait, I'm trying to think of oh the name my. of the one you like more than anything. Who do you like more than Anna Kendrick? I can't remember her name. But that's the a podcast. Ah, Red Ed. Yes. Ah, and I see her face. I, oh, there's a cone. A ah, cone. Yeah, you Damn saw it. a face and suddenly that, that's gone again. <laughs> um, that was terrible. I ran over a cone and because there's no like clearance underneath my car, I took flight. The front of my car lifted up. I had no steering for at least 10 foot. That was kind of scary. But anyway, yes, I, I see her face. I have followed her on Instagram. I bloody know her. She's in... Well, she was in something that I watched, Supernatural. She was in it for a while. Well, I think like yeah. four episodes. Oh, can't her name. I've got a final figure of her now. Have you? Yeah. Nice. What's her name again? Felicia Day. That's the one. Felicia all my day. That's definitely the one. Nice dunk on, by the way, for the 155... No, lap. no, this was an awful, 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 awful lap. 
Wow. And this is not going to get any better. I did better than my first lap. That took a good five minutes off my first lap. Five minutes and ten seconds, actually. Well, that's definitely cutting that corner way too fast. So, yeah, so Suzuka Circuit, we're going to probably do maybe four laps maximum of this, just to give ourselves a, some breathing room. You're probably going to get to the top. Uh, we don't do not too much qualifying. Not this lap, though. Not this right, lap. We don't do... Oh, this is annoying, that corner. That corner's going to get me every time. You know the corner I'm on about. Yep. Still two seconds faster than my last lap. That's something. So you've got a figure of Felicia Day now, then? Hmm? You've oh, got, yeah, a, yeah. You've got yeah. a figure. What have you got, exactly? Is it just a, like a pop vinyl figure? Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, pop vinyl. Uh, Charlie oh, cool. from Supernatural. Ah, cool. fair enough. So literally the one we were just talking about from Supernatural. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. That was cool. I need to watch also, Supernatural. I had a chance to meet her and I decided not to because uh, I, I, don't, I can't remember why. What? Were you paid not to? Or something? Or, you know, did someone threaten your life? Because well, I, I could see that being I the only two kids, reasons but, why. You know. Um, <laughs> so we would have to go to Comic Con in Birmingham. Right. Which we didn't do. Okay. And I would have definitely met her if I. Uh... Uh, right, that's fair enough. So, literally, the only reason I couldn't go is just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get to Birmingham on time. I you could have. You could have, but family. Yeah. So you're blaming the kids. Absolutely. That's fair enough. That's a true parent right there. You always blame your kids. Kids, if you're listening, your parents blame you. For everything. You know. Everything. <laughs> And now we've lost probably 90% of our audience, considering one of my audience times. members is my nephew. So I've just, well, to be fair, he's my brother's kid, so he already knows that my brother blames him for everything. My brother tells him. So it's not really a problem. Um, my brother's a great parent. Awesome parent. That's what all parents do. Yeah, that's true. Especially with the parenting package. My parents told me I was a mistake. To my face. That's almost I, actually. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, uh, we know the how parents are. The pill is not 100% are. good for, for holding back. Oh, <laughs> are we going to do this talk now? Well, you, you may be that one. You're maybe failed um, tablets. But mine was the fact of they went to have a put a stop to it and then got told and... whilst they wanted to put a stop to it that they had another one anyway. And lo and behold, surprise, I was there. So, yeah. They want. They were in the process of getting rid of it permanently, through surgical matters, and I was already there. So I was definitely a mistake. I was definitely the unplanned one, which is fine with me. I am fine with that, and Lost, I'm not fine with it. but loft, at least unplanned but loft. Yeah, let's go with that. Because that, that's basically what my mum keeps saying. So I'm, I was on plan, but she lost me where my brother was home. He was planned, but he's a little shit. Oh, right. No, I um, I had neither. So, <laughs> well, oh, from my yeah. mum, yes. Really it was, you know, she told me she loved me, but I think she said it mostly for gritted teeth. Um, it was normally either that or strangle me, I suppose. You. Yeah, Shut it up. was more, I think, I think she was telling herself more than me, just to try and convince herself not to throttle me. So, you know. It was just I, outside I can, I can, aggression. Yeah, as a parent, I can relate. Also, you've worked with me, you can relate. Hello, little <laughs> sweetheart, how are you? I love you so much. Please stop kicking my balls. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, that's exactly the kids for you. They like to go for the sweet spots. I mean, they came out of there. You'd think they'd thank you, but no, they just do damage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, That's this kids is for probably you. going to be the last lap, actually. We've already had the last lap. Oh, we have. No, this oh, will be the last lap. Right. No, let's do this as the last lap. That's fine. 
I'm on for a good one this time. I didn't actually go off too much on that last corner that I had the problem with normally. So I want to see what I do on this one. I still lift off on that one. I need to stop lifting off on that other one. I do break early on that one too. I think I know the one you mean. Is that the one where you got a proper drop down the first gear? Yeah. Yeah, I break early on that one as well, actually. I don't realise the strength. Awesome. 145.603, you're 145.427. Nice. That'll be fun. Good. <laughs> right, let's and go let's for the proper one. Both of us actually saw sort of probably going. We did alright on that lap. Yeah, that's very true. Although, right, and there we are. We said about last race, and then we sort of managed to get five seconds of our qualifying lap. Yeah, that's true. So hopefully this will be much better. Right, and hopefully in a minute I will cut over to proper footage as well. This will all still carry on in the chat, but hopefully Cohen and I will actually have proper images. Mine in my lovely blue Super Formula, Cohen in his lovely orange Super Formula. Two, one, green! That was my hopefully syncing up when I actually get around to the uh, view replay. Probably not. Yeah. Going around there, going around there. Milk it, milk it. There we are. I actually did that corner correctly for a change. Oh, no, 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 no. I've lost it. Okay, I'm never catching up with you ever again. Oh, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> oh, bleeding. I'm surprisingly Nora. doing these corners all right at the moment. Yeah. I'm never going to do this again. Uh, well, I'm doing uh, not so good so far. Uh, wow. That was... Uh, that was close of oh, that's, completely there. That was off a little bit better than I normally do. Alright, here we are. Yeah, so hopefully I'm definitely going to do it properly this time. But we shall see how it gets on. It's going to be fine, Ooh. Barn. Barn? Barnes. Oh, I heard Barn. You, you singularized my name. That was weird. No. Well, you're quite open bit drafty and just. <laughs> Poor <laughs> shit, I guess. <laughs> Can't argue with you there. That's very true. <laughs> That's fine with me. But. I've been good this week. I've actually been remembering things, which is surprising for me. So wow. hopefully that it will continue. It'll be fun. The apocalypse is nigh. Yeah. That's very true. Right, that's definitely terrible. That's definitely terrible. That's definitely 10 seconds behind. Nope, 12. Yep. Uh, you catch up on the first corner because yeah. I'm uh, going for a very touristy route around this corner. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, gig, 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 gig. Oh, gig, 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 gig. What are the times? Bounce is also doing the touristy route from that corner. <laughs> <laughs> I may have gone a bit wide on the first bend. I may have taken it like I would a lorry going around the corner. Yeah, I went I left had before the same went right. thing. Yeah. <laughs> have we both been playing truck simulator or something too much? <laughs> Maybe. There's nothing wrong with Oh, that I pressed kit. camera angle changes. No, truck simulator is actually awesome. Especially it if you is. can match European and America like, and all that together. If, if there's oh. any game that I would recommend, it's that game. Oh, that's, Whilst uh, we're playing another game. <laughs> oh, I see you've gone off a little bit there. Time for me to yeah. catch up by a second. Yay. Well done. Uh, that was well wide. Done. That was wide. That was definitely wide. That was as wide as my waistline. Oh. Right, that'll be fine. I was going to make a your mum joke and then I realised I'm trying to keep this family friendly. Yeah. Oh god, that was drafting. Drifting? That's the one. Yeah, I mean, you could have sort of said something about from orientating some satellites to get a waistline. <laughs> <laughs> That's also very true. Oh, I love those kind of jokes. They were great. Yeah, Yo, so mama, so we fair. should make. We should definitely. They, they're not really. 
People are not really doing ghosts anymore, are they? What? Your oh, mum is so fat? Still... Yeah, no. I don't know. Maybe that's just my friends. Maybe I've got different friends now. Well, again... Because I'm not one of them. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. Because I definitely would still make those jokes. But then I don't know your mum, so I don't really want to make those jokes. You know, yeah, your mum's pretty nice and friendly. I mean, she had to put up with you, so she must, she must be nice. Uh, well, she is Dutch, so she's still very direct and, and a bit blunt at times. That's fine, that's what I prefer, because I hate the English sometimes when it does come to that. They're not very direct. I'm very much more European when it comes to that. Yep. That's yeah, one of so the few good. things it's I've so picked good. up from the French. I actually uh, met up with my cousin in London uh, yesterday. And, uh, oh, right, nice. It was sort of getting used to the directness and bluntness, even for me as a Dutch person. <laughs> you were out-Dutched by a Dutch person. But to be honest, like uh, that, that happens quite quickly as I'm not really stereotypical Dutch in that Are you perspective. Not? No. Oh, okay. I mean, you, you mean you hold back when you talk to me? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm actually to hear what quite you did Dutch light. <laughs> I'm quite Dutch light if, if you want to solve. Yeah. Is that, is that like a non alcoholic beer? Dutch yeah, light. It's, it's like a diet Dutch. I, I can't believe it's not Dutch. <laughs> oh god that needs to be made in as a t-shirt I can't believe it's not Dutch and Dutch light oh that's perfect diet Dutch oh those are perfect brands and I'm gonna be making one of those t-shirts gonna be sending it to you for your birthday or Christmas or both I'm gonna buy you beer make my own sticker and put yeah, Dutch I'm light on it I'm actually going to a bit more breaking through that corner if anyone's watching that screen because <laughs> I did not want to take the the very touristy route again. No, oh, that's fair well, enough. Well, that's good for me. Now I'm just. Uh, no, don't, don't. Also, my best lap so far has been 147, uh, which was I'm my last now lap. Now back at 147. My first lap was 146. Yeah, that was which very is good. Lap. My first oh, lap. Which is uh, that's, interesting. That's terrible. <laughs> that's fine. See that you have to accelerate off the line and everything. You know, there, there's definitely another two seconds to be uh, found. Yeah. I know exactly no, where. True. Like, like every break well. point ever. <laughs> there's just that one break part just then. Those corners just then. I can never get. It's really uh, throwing me off. Okay, let's, let's not mention what I did there. Well, it's going to be on your screen, so you're going to have to mention it. Nothing happens. Shown. Nothing happens. I'm going to do a slowdown now, you know, don't you? Instant replay. In slow motion. If something happened, that's good to note. I will be noting it. Instant replay on a replay. It's all good. It's like 16 replays. That's a no, dead I don't think it's, I don't think that works like that, though. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's very true. Was it 16 walls? Is that what you said? Is that part of the joke? Yeah. It's, um, it it's was a 16. Fourth, fourth wall break within a fourth wall break. That's like 16 walls. Yeah. Then, would you like to know the sad part? It took me a second to realise how we got to 16. Oh, boy. Really? Yeah, it took me a while. I actually sat there, I was like, 16? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so it wasn't It wasn't fun for me. It's, it's, you know, anything to do with thinking is bad. That's why I like movies like The Expendables and Fast and Furious. It's because you have to think less when you watch those movies. Yeah, but if you watch them too much, you know, that does have an effect on the... Uh... The yeah. brain. It's statistically well, speaking. The streets, the streets <laughs> buy back. Yeah. And that's another thousand brain cells gone. That's it. You know, every time you uh, you oh, watch one of those movies, you lose there? a cut of IQ. That's not the second time. Oh, that was a little bit I better just, around that corner. I just go off at the easiest. It's not even a corner. <laughs> you mean that slight bend? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's definitely not even a corner. That's just a drop a gear and carry on round. Oh, um, bit to note about obviously my technically personal life. Wedding rings, because uh, obviously you know I'm getting married next year, and yeah. a lot of people yeah. on this channel hopefully know I'm getting married next year. Um, if not, we've had our wedding there rings. You go. Yeah, if you didn't know before, you know now, because you know if you need to know more, tune into Stardew to find out. Because Liz and I talk about it more often on there than anything else, because that's the only one she's on. Um, yeah, so we'll get married next year. Um, two weeks ago, we got our fingers measured for rings, um, and yeah. today Lizzie collected hers. Mine had to go back because apparently between two weeks ago and now I've lost weight in my fingers. I've just gone off that corner. Um, and I've gone down two sizes. Will you just get back on the road? There we are. Yeah, so I've gone from what was an O, if you know what, um, yeah, what yeah, rings I know, are, I know. to an M for Mike. Oh, it's no. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's a donut. No, I've gone to an M, as in Mike. That's my new ring size. So it's got to be sent back and won't be with me till probably the 28th of June. It's a good thing we've got two years to wait with my fingers. I was even told yeah, by one probably woman... have to be uh, changed like 17 times over. Probably. Which is fine because it's a band, so it's, there's nothing on it to worry about. There's no shapes, no details to worry about. It's a 5 mil gold band. That's what I've okay. got for. Half a centimetre of pure gold. White gold or...? No, yellow gold. It's because Lizzie's engagement ring's already yellow gold. And I didn't want to okay. go for something that's not the same as her. So she's no, going for gold, right. so I thought, I'll go for gold. I have no other jewellery except from a watch. And they're fine to not match. So it's not a problem for me. So yellow gold sort it is. Uh, funny where we're sort of looking at wedding rings, although not picked up or anything. Yet. Anyway, um, basically, where I've come for white gold uh, engagement ring for Faye, uh, she'll go yeah. for white gold wedding ring or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah. But that sort of leaves me with a bit of a option, as it's sort of just a normal metallic type of color, and I'm sort of on. I'm actually not that worried about materials. And I, I sort of would like to hear the audience, even though they're probably quite young, to even have any discussion about this. I'm actually <laughs> thinking of chipping out and going for titanium. Because it That's still fine. looks nice. It's very strong. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not that fast if it's gold or silver or whatever. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. No, I don't see why not, to be fair. You know, like you say, it, it has a function as well. I mean, you still know it's a wedding ring. You still put them on during it's, that special day. It has day. the emotional value still to it. Exactly. It still it would officially, if it plays out that way, obviously, as a traditional sense, Faye is still putting that ring on you. So you're still yep. binded in that way. You know, there's still the legal you contract. Know, she likes it. She puts the ring on it. Exactly. <laughs> She followed Beyonce's words to the T. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I don't see a problem with that. You go for the ring you like. I've got. I've known people that have gone for um, tungsten, I believe, as their ring yeah, of choice. Yeah. So yeah. you know, there's no format anymore. Gold is yeah the old standard, which is fine because it's still cheap and cheerful in some degrees. Not exactly cheap, cheap. I mean, mine and Lizzie's rings together cost us four hundred pound, but that was still cheaper than platinum, for instance, which was the next option up. Which was yeah, I was actually looking at uh, platinum one. and palladium. Palladium, yeah. by the way, being the material that is used for Captain Marvel's uh, Captain America shields. That's it. So I mean, you know, that would be a nice nerdy aspect of it. But um, but someone I know, it's like it, ten times the price of titanium. And yeah, Tom, it that's... looks the same. That's the problem and... as well. Is I looked at platinum; it looked like silver. Yeah. You know, and it had three times the price tag, if not a bit more. Yeah, but at least, like, you know, with silver, you can have uh, corrosion and, and you can sort of have uh, allergic reactions to it. Yeah, that's uh, true. But at a glance. Titanium won't have that issue whatsoever. No. But Plus, just at a glance, it all looks. Yeah. 
Well, it's, it's used in any building materials normally of any good note, isn't it? Anything that requires a lot of stress. I have known yeah, pertaining we, to be mentioned. Uh, there we are. By the way, fuel check. Yeah. How you doing? All right. You? What you got? What you got? You'll be able to see on the on the thing. But I want to know now. I might have to put this asking. lab. Really? Yeah. What have you got? Like point something. Yeah. What have you got? Tell me. Please. I got zero point five now. Ooh. Not good. Do you know what I got? Go for it. Two point nine. Good for you. Yeah. I took your technique from last time and I'm not sure it's paying off. It's but we'll soon find not out. paying off for you, mate. <laughs> no. I mean, I finally caught up. I probably would pass you just if you start leaving the pit. <sighs> it won't be good for me. But the problem is I've also got lower power because I've gone for more lean than I have power. So... I've gone for something that Jeremy Clarkson tells us not to go for, and that's less power. I've gone against our Lord and Saviour, Jeremy Clarkson. Praise him. For you Praise him. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my dad used to call him something that was along the lines of holy, but had another word in front of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know the one I'm on about? Yeah. Kids, if you don't know, ask your dad. He'll know. He'll tell you exactly what you think of Jeremy Clarkson. I'm sure most dads think the same thing for some reason. Any dad that's not in our generation seems to have that thought. I don't know why. Probably because he's getting paid for something that any one of their mates could do. Or yeah, thinks they could yeah. do. But then, they should have just done that. Exactly. That's very true. If you want sank, do it. Hence this YouTube channel. Instead of talking about it and um, not actually doing it. That's it. So, pff, I could have done that. But you didn't. So yeah. shit it. That's exactly That's how I think about it. This is sort of the thing where people sort of love to complain about people like Kim Kardashian and stuff. So, oh my god, so stupid. Anyone can do that. So, so, yeah, go for it then. Yeah, I do not see you releasing a sex tape, Margaret. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Probably for good reasons. Um, That's also very true, yeah. <laughs> I would rather you didn't release a sex tape. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those things. But there's a, it's not just that, though, because everyone... Well, not everyone. A lot of celebrities have done sex tapes. And it's not been because their career is about to die. They just did it because they loved the person they were with at that time. Therefore, they recorded it. Yep. I don't know why. Because maybe memories are failing. You know, maybe they're forgetting things. They want to look back on it. But it's a thing. It happened. Yes, she got famous out of it. So what? She's got a lot of money out of it. So what? If I could, I would. Not her. I mean, as in, I would have the money. I'm afraid she's not my type. But she got slammed on Twitter recently as well. Someone retweeted yep. about it as well. Just for the comments more than anything. She was like, um, I can't remember what it was now. I think it was like Secret to My Beauty. Um, stay tuned to find out. And everyone put on their Photoshop surgery. I was like, dude, shut up. <laughs> you don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah. probably it was Photoshop I mean, to a degree. Everyone does Photoshop on, you know, for certain things. But still, jealous. As far as I care, she fills them up with rice. As long as I can fluff my ears between. <laughs> Now, you don't want to use rice. If, if uh, Wild Wild West has told me anything about that, I believe gunpowder was a better option. It was a oh, bit more that's, softer. that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Movie references. Ah, oh, dear. Good old Will Smith rubbing his head up against Cal uh, Kevin Klein's breasts. Those were the days. What did I watch when I was a kid? Jesus. Right. Uh, 18, probably. That's also very true. Not the new one, kids. Not that piece of crap we come out with nowadays with Bradley Cooper in it. 
Although Bradley Cooper wasn't a piece of crap, the movie was a little bit. It wasn't as bad as some people portrayed it to be, though. The tank bit got me more than anything. It was the tank bit. Okay. That was my main problem with the movie. Everything else was fine. You could keep everything else. But tank and parachute. You lost me. We're not watching MacGyver. MacGyver knew it was taking the mickey out of itself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, MacGyver, you know... Okay, kids, for, for you who don't know... Uh, MacGyver would sort of yeah. stand in there and some. So, okay, let's look out of the door. What do we got? Army. Okay, right. What do I got? I got a pencil and an eraser. Okay, this is going to be a shitty episode. Um, right, maybe, maybe if I put a pencil on the eraser and the eraser on the pencil, I could wipe up the whole army. Haha, <laughs> they'll never expect it. That's MacGyver. That's very true. The guy could put a paper clip and a sharpener together and make a bazooka. How? Yeah, I mean, okay, the A-Team did have its moments where it would so from, you know, that there was a, basically a welding tool in any toilet in, in anywhere in America. <laughs> yeah, there is that. But it had a bit more believability to it. Minus the fact that Mr. T's van seemed to appear out of nowhere and have no damage no matter what happened to it in the last episode. Either he had oh, yeah. an abundance of vans or the guy was just very good with the bodywork. But still. Well, it was they, they did a lot of DIY, so that's not completely unheard of. But again, that's it's true. a cost. But yeah, they got paid a lot for guys that were disgraced ex-military. That yeah, was, you know, yeah. that was part of the thing. They were there to clear their names. Yet they got paid a lot of money to do so. It's fine with me. It's fine. It's all fine. But yeah, but MacGyver was crap. I'm going to put that out there. And it still is, because it has been remade, if I remember correctly. Oh, has it? Really? Yeah, it has. Oh, boy. And um, I'm not sure if you've ever seen it, but there's a there was a movie out a little while ago called Monster Truck, where it literally was a monster inside a truck. Uh, Do you ever see seen an advert trailer, for that? But not, yeah. Uh, not put yourself through the movie. Yeah. No. I don't. I don't blame you. But the actor who was in that movie with that bad CGI truck is MacGyver. Oh boy. That's who they've got, got for it. it. So, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's the face of the '80s. Everyone knows MacGyver. But still, no. God no. Please, God, no. More MacGyver. Hawaii 5.0's also made a, a comeback as well. There's more Hawaii mm. 5.0. They've rebooted that. But that's quite funny. The guys they've got in that are actually pretty hilarious. They, they should I'll give just you that one. leave things like that alone, Lopez. Like, yeah. Really... They, they definitely have run out of ideas when they start scraping the bottom of the barrel again from 30 years ago. Same with oh God, movies, that is to be honest. Ago. It's not okay, let's do yeah. this again. It's not... Let's make a remake of this. It's not... Come on. Yeah. I will hate the film universe if they ever remake something like Forrest Gump or something. Something iconic. If they make something like that again, then that's going to be a problem. Because you cannot yeah. touch movies like that. Full or Metal big, Jacket being another or... one. Well, yeah, any, anything with Tom Hanks in it, but anything just of stature to begin with as well. I mean, Green Mile. You could never make that again, mostly because yeah. of the other guy that was in it. Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah. I believe was his oh. name. That is the one. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Look at my memory. Um, yeah, he was an awesome actor in that. He may not have played the best Kingpin, I'm afraid, but then that was just the writing in general was maybe not the best for him in that movie acted for what he had but he was amazing in the green mile absolutely everyone was actually to be fair everyone in that movie played the part they were given perfectly i've gone off that corner again <sighs> right i'm never catching up with you again Karen. this was fun while it lasted when i was you know with you for a few it seconds wasn't and then at any a point a given that you were it was pretty much since level one that's 
it was since the first corner, Kevin, when I went off that it was. And it was only when I, I made a really bad mistake again. that you sort of got back to ten seconds, and so oh my god, getting so much back, yeah. and so yeah. And I actually was in front of you whilst you were in the pits. I had two laps where I was first place, and then I had to pit myself, and then uh, you took over again. It was fine. Oh, I didn't even turn enough for that one. What am I doing now? I even had the fastest lap for crying out loud. I own the fastest lap for 145.37. One. Well, that's 44 but... now. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't even hold that anymore. <laughs> I held that lap. That was literally the last lap I just had was that lap. And you just smashed Your it. Your only redeeming feature of this race. And, oh, that's and gone. you already got rid of it. Brilliant. Thanks, mate. And yeah, always, no that's what friends are for. I would say I hate you, but I need this channel to continue. There we go. <laughs> he needs me as the antagonist of this channel. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's very true. Made a mistake there, so you can uh, come back a little bit. Yeah, I've gained. No, half you'll a get you. You'll, you'll gain four seconds in a second. Four seconds. That's fine of me. If you want to do that again, maybe five more five times. times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I can catch up a little bit more. I took a little bit of a break there because you could tell I was cogs returning then while I was making sure, sure that I could sure, count sure. to 20 properly. Um, that was fine with me. Yeah, feel free to, you know, at least maybe take two of the corners at one mile an hour. You know, so I can catch up. Just to make it look a little bit more like the fact that we can actually see each other for more than 10 seconds in this race. No? Okay. No. Damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, I really stayed in that pit too long as well. I really did too much petrol. I math wrong. By the way, right. petrol check. How you doing? Uh, I need to do a little bit of fuel saving, but I should be alright. Oh yeah? What's it say you got? I got uh, currently 2.7. 2.7 laps. Oh, that's not too bad. That's, that's actually, you've got two laps left, so... Uh, well, technically three, so 15, 16, and then seven. Oh, yeah. That's true. Also, be fine. again, bonds can't math. Yeah, I did count to... I said, I went 15, 16, uh, sorry, 15, 16, 17, done. Not realizing 17 isn't the end, and you have to do the 17th lap. That's full lap, yeah. Yeah, that's very true. It's been proven multiple times that I can't math. It's fine of me. In one episode, though, that's uh... ooh, that's terrible feedback. There, you turn into a robot, there, Arnie. Oh, good. I was definitely working on that voice. Oh yeah, that's really gone. You, it sounds like your microphone may be a bit loose, perhaps. Ah. You, you sound like well, you're reverberating. They're running with it. Oh god, that's terrible. Oh no, I really hope it's not recording that way. If it is, then my god, that's going to be a bit of a problem. That's... Oh, man. Sorry, Karen, that's Hello? that's bad. You're still there, you're still bad. Okay. I hope it's, I hope it's my side and that Greg's recording okay. Because if it's recording okay, then that's not a problem. Well, let's go with that, then. Oh, I've got two laps of that, man. <laughs> Three laps of that, man. <laughs> no, it is two. Two and a bit. That's fine with me. I really forgot what I was talking about just then. That voice really just threw me. Is it still bad? It's still bad. Try again. <clears throat> no, it's still bad. Still reverberates. I really hope it's just my headphones. If it is, then not so much of a problem. At least the sound quality is still fine. But if it isn't, if it is my headphones as well, then that's also a problem because that means I've got to buy more headphones. No, and I'm brass it. I just missed that corner completely. That's fine. I missed the corner before you, so we've kind of still at the same speeds. So 
which is slowly gaining on me, Barnes. Yeah, but not enough. Not for the next two laps. Well, you're breaking up for me now as well. Maybe it's oh, so it's probably thing. my side. Yeah, it's probably connection. Oh, great. How can my data give up? It's only just renewed. No. I can't have used three gig within the last half an hour. An hour, however long it's been. That's ridiculous. It's fine. We'll get there. If that breaks off for both of us, that probably means that Craig's hearing both the breakups. Which means yeah. it's going to be terrible for the last bit. Okay, we'll sort that out at the end of this, I'm sure. Two more laps we've got to worry about. We've just got to try and spitball for two laps. Boop, boop. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, that was terrible. I hate myself for doing that. Oh, God. I went way too fast and tried to compensate by cutting the corner a lot to the point where it reset me. Yeah, you don't it's catching want to up. That. I caught up a little bit. That's annoying. Were you ever really dope? Well, I've cut it down to like 10 seconds at one point and that was with trying. So I did do something right. But never enough. I, that first corner screwed me out perfectly. As soon as I got that first corner and had that mess up, that was it done for me. I'm, I'm sure you're going pretty much full lean, I swear. It. I'm going full power, and I'm still not going to catch up with the before end of it. full lean, yeah. Yeah, and I'm full power. But the problem with being full power, and I think I'm far behind you, is I'm making so many mistakes. Because I realise I have to try and compensate for it. But I'm... No, I just being terrible at it it's fine it's fine it's fine Cohen it's fine okay I believe it's you. all fine and my battery's running low on my laptop Oof. I haven't put it on charge yet which means the video editing I'm currently doing on it's not gonna work it's all fine Okay then. <laughs> and Cohen's finished. Yay! With the best lap of one forty four point two seven three, and I'm just about to be. And I'm just being told to pit now to get some refuel, but I need to because it's the last lap. So screw you, prompt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing one point nine, and across the line. That was terrible for me. Total time of 31 minutes. That's not bad at all. Right. There we go. Four that is three. really terrible. Fastest left. And fix three. Yeah, indeed. Good for you. Not so good for me. Oh. It's okay, Bonds. Uh, it's not though, is it? It's definitely not. Remember, to save the replay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where was the where's the save the replay? On the main menu thing. Up. Up. Ray that's settings, it. Replay. Up. There you go. Ray We're not settings. going to make this mistake again. Wait, it's not under settings. It's under replay. There he is. Yeah, yeah, save replay. replay. Yes. Save to library. Get in! Right. We have saved that. So that's perfect. Brilliant. Oh. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. No be no uh, shot there. The one. Yeah. So that's uh, a <laughs> six to two points now. Six to two. At least I've got two points. That's all I care about. I actually have points. Mostly because you can't go without points. Yep. That's the main reason. And also, you weren't far off Kimi Raikkonen's big all-time lap oh, What was the time uh, again? Because I sort of forgot. I can't remember what your time was. 144? I think it was, because I was probably 145. 
you knocked yeah, the no, second my, off of my that, time was, roughly. Uh... Uh, but Kimi Raikkonen's was 1.31, sorry, 1 minute 31 seconds, 0.540. Yeah, that's not bad. So, 13 seconds fairly off, similar to last uh... Yeah. Uh, last time you were a little bit less, I think. You were 12 seconds off, roughly. Schumacher's yeah. being 129 and yours was 141. Wait. Yes. Yeah, yeah, 12 seconds. So that's not so bad. But yeah, but Kimi Raikkonen, 13 seconds. Yeah, you're saying about average. 10 to 15 seconds difference between you and them. That's not bad yeah. at all. Next week, you've got to try and beat 121 by Rubens Barrichello. Barrichello. Oh, which you is that? That's going to be Autodromo Nacional Monza. Ooh. That's going to be the next one. I'm not great at that track. Like, ever. Well, maybe that'll be the one I beat you on then, because I'm actually quite no, good at that track. No. 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 Monza no. is no. not a bad track for me. You've heard it here. Monza's okay for me, so if I fail that one, I've only got myself to play. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> that, that'll be you, Don. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got two tracks going for me. I've got Monza and I've got uh, Brands Hatch. Those are my two tracks. Oh, yeah. 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 Those are me. Brands Hatch. I've never been on the Red Bull Ring or the Fuji International Speedway. Uh, I haven't really been either, so that's going oh, to be but I have, a good one. I have done the Interlagos, so maybe, maybe, but we'll see. No, but, but I'm anyway, good at that track. This may be terrible for everyone, so I'm going to have to leave it there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully our voices weren't too bad at the end when the uh, audio started going for Discord. But we shall see you next time. And until then, tatty bye. Tatty bye. <laughs>